I uh, just came in to vote and uh, the judge there told me to leave um, or change my shirt. And I said, um, nothing wrong with my shirt, there's nothing posted. And he called the cops and the cops said there's nothing posted so they can't do nothing about it. And uh, when I was going to vote, he took a picture of me and asked the lady to get a copy of my voting, uh, my uh, ballot. And I told the cops about it and uh, cops went in there and started uh, taking witness statements. And uh, it's just not right having a copy of my ballot. My ballot to my ballot. Uh, I vote for it. doesn't matter who it is. Wait a minute. They wanted to see your completed ballot. They took a copy. Of, they, the judge asked the lady to get a copy of my ballot. And uh, a I, completed ballot. I believe so. That's what I understood uh, from her. Did you already vote it? Yeah, I was voting and they took a picture of me and I asked them, you can't take pictures of me. And um, the guys behind me said, that's not right. You can't be taking pictures. Were they taking pictures of you while you were actually at the no, machine? I was, no, I was in line to vote. And um, they were taking pictures of me and they said uh, they're going to use that as evidence against me for wearing a Trump shirt. And I was just minding my own business going to vote. Now, there is a law in the election code that you can't wear candidate type t-shirts or hats and things like that. Were you aware of that law when you went in? No, I read the sign on the door, I read the signs inside, and nothing said anything about that. Uh, it did say about phone usage, and uh, no phones are allowed to be used within 100 feet or inside the building. And uh, when the judge took a picture of me, I believe he broke the law when he did that. And when he asked for a copy of my ballot from the lady, I believe that was against the law too. So I still want to clarify about the ballot because that's pretty important. Um, when he asked somebody to get a copy of your ballot, you hadn't voted yet? You were still in no, line? I was at the time where I gave my ID to them, and uh, she said he told her, give me a copy of his ballot when he's done. When he's done? That's what I understood, what I heard. What did you think about that? I was like, I didn't really think anything about it because I was like, okay, maybe policy changed this year. But um, I just don't think it's right. So, first of all, what do you think about if you're not allowed to use your phone to taking a picture in there? Well, if it's posted, it's posted. It's a law. Uh, but the talking, uh, wearing a shirt, I had no clue about. Uh, there was nothing. I read the signs, and there was nothing on there. Did the police seem to know about the law? The police had no clue about it. They looked at all the posters, everything that was posted, and said there's nothing they could do to the judge. And so they didn't make you take the shirt off? No. The police just left? The police just stood there while I voted and left. They stood outside. So right. you voted with your Trump shirt on? Yes, sir, I did. And I would never take it off. <laughs> did, uh, did they say anything at the poll that would lead you to believe that they're going to follow up on this further? Oh, yes. Uh, he was on the phone with somebody from the county uh, saying that um, they he pretty much he walked around, followed me, voting. He stood over me pretty much while I was voting. And he was on the phone with someone from county saying that he told the cops or told me too that he needed the picture of me. He took a picture of me because he wanted to use evidence later on to go after me. So, so you think you may face trouble down the line? Oh, yes. I'm pretty sure I will because I, I had no clue that I was not supposed to wear the shirt. But he brought it to my attention, but there was nothing posted. He didn't show me no evidence. There was nothing. Did anyone keep you from voting, though? Did you actually put your got, ballot in the box? Yes, I did. Uh, I got out of line twice. And uh, they, they kicked me out of line first, then they kicked me out of line again. So I finally got to vote. So you were insistent, and you were able to go ahead and, uh, yes. and vote. But you have no doubt that your vote got in the box. There's no doubt, but there's a copy out there because there's a duplicate. I know I heard that. So I don't know. They might I don't understand how she could copy it. That's when point. you're the one who put it in the box, right? Yeah. I, that's why I heard he asked her directly, make sure you get a copy of his ballot. Do you think that she did? I have no clue. I, I, if, she broke, if she did, she broke the law because that's my right. My votes are, shouldn't be, no one should know my votes. Who I vote for is my business. And I don't know if she did or not. But I put it in there. But he was, over, he was watching over me all the time. One last thing, and that is, um, why was it so important to you that you vote wearing the shirt? Because our Constitution, our First Amendment, our right to vote should have nothing to do with what I wear. Like, it, it's just, wearing this shirt is my right. 
and my right to vote. It's that simple. So you disagree with that election law about clothing? Well, now I know, yes, I do disagree with it. If I knew and it was posted, yes, I would have took it off. But I'm going to tell you right now, I'm going to vote every time with this on. Exact same shirt every year. Even if Trump doesn't win, I'm still going to wear it. At the time, because it wasn't posted, did you think they're making this up? Honestly, I, I, there was some doubt in me, them thinking it, because the cops had no clue about it. It's the second day of election, and I didn't hear anything about it. Last election, I think I wore the same thing. I, I think I wore a Trump hat last year, or last election, and uh, they didn't say nothing there. But they seem to be enforcing it this year. It seems like it, but I voted with my shirt on, and I'm proud of it.